you find that you go through a lot of slings and seem to constantly buy new ones? Or have you noticed that low damage in your facility is often caused by the sling itself? Both issues are related to one of the most common rigging problems, lack of proper sling protection. Specifically, sling protection products that are added to a sling or the load itself to prevent damage. By the end of this video, you'll learn what sling protection is, why it's necessary to use added sling protection, the risk of not properly protecting your slings, and common sling protection products. So let's get into it. Welcome back to the Lifting and Rigging channel. My name is Kay. Today we sat down with Mozilla's lifting specialist, Nick Gordon, who focuses on all lifting and rigging needs, including sling protection. Here's what Nick had to say. Today we're gonna to talk about sling protection, uh, something that's extremely important, but very overlooked in our industry. You may be wondering what sling protection is. That is a material of really any sort, whether it be nylon, Cordura fabric, Dyneema fabric, anything that's really gonna protect your sling and the load, keep you from either dropping loads, uh, damaging a load, protecting your people, as well as protecting the sling. So if you're turning over many, many slings uh, in a short period of time due to abrasion, uh, doing to cut, uh, whether you're bending links in chain, uh, you see abrasion on wire rope slings where you're wearing down the sling, uh, starting to dog leg. Protection is gonna really help you on that. This sling actually has protection in the eye. This is a turned eye, but we add that little layer of Cordura material in a very heavily used uh, point in the sling to make sure that you're not wearing down. Um, this one also has an edge guard. Very simple, um, but very effective. If, if you're noticing cuts, uh, you're noticing any abrasion on the side of your slings, very good material to help keep that from falling apart and then failing out this sling. Something as easy as a rub against a sharp corner can really tear your sling up quickly. So with that protection, it'll, it'll give you some minimal help. And even in your hook, depending on what you're putting in your hook constantly, maybe you're using wire rope or you're using chain slings in there. And as those rub together, they can, they can tend to rub those hooks a little rough. And if you get a rough edge uh, in your eye, easily to tear a sling. So that little bit of protection is gonna help keep that sling in service just a little bit longer. Another very easy um, type of protection that you can have added is a, just a piece of leather. Um, doesn't always have to be sewn in. Uh, this sling does have it sewn right on, also in the eye. Again, we're protecting a very heavily used point but that leather is gonna really protect that sling um, before that sling gets torn up. So um, another really great place to check and, and what we wanna make sure of is when we're checking for any um, issues, maybe you are getting some rubbing, abrasion, things like that, we want that protection to go as far down into the eye as possible so that way you're not wearing out too, too soon into the eye as well. Another very cost-effective product is a corner protector. Uh, this corner protector will actually wrap around your sling. It'll keep your corner from ever actually touching your sling. So what's great about this is when you put that sharp object in, it's never even gonna hit your sling. Again, very cost-effective, easy to use, and uh, this pad is gonna last quite a while because again, it's not touching any, any edges. So great for where you're maybe putting the full load onto the sling. Or something like this, and this is just a Velcro sleeve, this is gonna really help for your abrasion points. So where your sling comes up and over an edge, whether it be sharp or not, as that load moves around, this is gonna protect the sling. And again, it's also gonna protect the product that you're moving. You don't want a chain sling or a wire rope sling rubbing up against, let's say a steel coil and tearing up the edges of the steel coil because now there's certain parts of that material that you're not gonna be able to use. In the same effect, this sling with a Cordura abrasion resistant cover versus Dyneema, which is a cut resistant material, um, used really um, quite a bit in the steel mills now. Nobody wants to lug super heavy chains to lift 60,000 pound coils. So what they're doing is they'll take this sling made out of synthetic material and this sleeve 
around the sharp edges to be able to lift. So they're saving their backs by lifting and, and having to move all of those heavy chains. They now can lift something with one hand. They put this around and it's gonna keep those steel coils from getting torn up. So not only slings can use that protection, but there are other uses for protection. Use in shackles, uh, where shackles, again, may be used with chain, wire rope, um, and then on to nylon, also have protection. Uh, there, there's a, a number of other uses out there. Um, wood blocks can be used uh, for wire rope and chain if you don't have a sling available. So it's really just thinking about what you're lifting, what protrusion, what edges you might be going around, and just really thinking about what you're doing um, and, and the moves you're going to make to just ensure that your load is protected, make sure that your sling is protected, and really that your life is protected. Are you looking to further your understanding of slings? Check out our free online lifting sling inspection course by clicking here or check out the link in the description of this video. We've also got great articles on sling protection and common rigging problems and how to prevent them. All links are down in the description. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave us a comment if you have any questions or just want to say hi. Once again, my name is Kay and I'll see you later.